Hey guys, System Error, and this is Sky Factory 1. Hope everyone is well, having a out of the amazing day. Let's go ahead and jump back into this pretty cool pack. And uh, in between episodes, we've gone ahead and worked on our Imperium Farm a little bit, and uh, that's about it, nothing else. So let's kind of take a look-see, kind of jump forward, and uh, get the new things here. So I guess I went ahead and uh, operated this here, the actual Supremium watering can, and uh, it's up to 11 by 11 area, so we can cover this entire field now. You can see here it's actually working quite well. It's actually producing Imperium at a really good pace. And I'm also pulling it into the system now automatically. So I got 6.4K right there, which is uh, pretty awesome and uh, really cool. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this off for a second to show you how I kind of got it set up here. Let's go ahead and grab that, do that. Then we should be able to just uh, float on the air, which is awesome. But down here, I have a drawer just for the seeds themselves. You see there, there's a little void up right on that. That means that uh, once it gets over to 2048, actually void off all the excess seeds. We can actually process those seeds in a machine too to actually get extra Imperium, but I don't know if I'll bother, but may do that. Over here, I have another door. This one's just for the filtering. This one just, uh, it's locked to Imperium. And I think that one has a void upgrade as well, but that's like a backup. The main amount of the Imperium actually goes into the system here. So you go in there and yeah, we got the 6.5K there. So working out pretty well and uh, is pretty awesome all around. So that is uh, pretty much all I did there. Uh, what I want to get to today though, I think, is to go ahead and work on a, another setup to kill mobs and get another liquid called Essence. So we're gonna have to do that. Then uh, I also wanna get up to these two. Let's actually start working on these first. I wanna get some upgrades. So let's actually go ahead and get this. This is a antidote term. I wanna get this puppy like right away because when we went to the infinite dark yesterday, we were getting poisons all over the place, right? And I don't wanna deal with that anymore. So that'll kind of deal with that. Also, I want to go ahead and make this one here. It is a void charm, and I don't have any of that yet, do I? I don't have any soul stone. Uh, not soul stone, end stone. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, work on that there. I think we just need glowstone for that. So let's go ahead and grab three of them, just like so. Let's go ahead and head downstairs. We can make this stuff super easy. Then we make the big charm, kind of combine all four of these charms together, which is really cool. And then, yeah, we just get that really easy. So let's go ahead and grab a void charm here. Sweet. And it says this one saves you from falling into the void, but I've never fallen into the void with it. So I don't know if it actually makes you not take damage for a period of time, because if it's like the other ones, every time you get hit by something, it actually gets damaged a bit. So it might only work for a little bit of time, but it might give you a little reaction time. I guess I'll try it out at some point. I'll just jump into the void with nothing but the void charm and see how it works out. Maybe the void charm and my anti-gravity, maybe, maybe that's the play. Maybe we'll do that later, just see if it actually works or not. Because yeah, if it actually saves us from the void, That'd be awesome. Also, I changed our teleport. So our teleport is actually here now. So if I fall through again, I should land on this platform down here or at very worst, I guess down here somewhere. So should be much better off than I guess falling into the void. So Dark Osto does know the issue and uh, I guess the side click dev would know that as well now. So Loth and uh, hopefully that'll get sorted out at some point. But right now we just need to deal with it, right? So with these charms here, let's go ahead and grab these. Go ahead and hunt down these two. So we need these two as well. We can make this master one it is the charm talisman. It does everything. Poison, wither, fire, and void production all in one. Uh, I guess we have pretty much everything. We need some gray concrete dough. Uh, how am I going to do this? Do I have, I actually probably don't have any white dye. So let's do that. Then hunt down gray concrete. Looks like we can do it in the solidification. So that'll make our life really easy. So let's go ahead and grab that. Then, uh, yeah, just go ahead and get this charm. Then we'll just be able to have this all in one slot. Not have to deal with it, right? Well, I do have a bucket of water. That's uh, awesome. Go ahead and put you in there. Maybe just like that. Put that in there. I won't let you do one at a time. You actually have to do all three. <laughs> Wasn't actually expecting that. That's actually kind of an odd recipe now that I look at it, but not too bad either way. We only need four of them. So we'll go ahead and grab these. Then there was one more charm I want to make as well, but it's not part of the kind of four part charm, right? I've never seen this other charm. It's actually like a speed charm. So I want to see how fast this will make us, right? So go ahead and grab that. Do that there. And uh, there you go. Should be able to right click that on and off like the rest. And uh, we should be able to find a slot for that. It could be a belt ring or a necklace. That's a necklace, right? Where's the necklace at? No, that's the charms, right? That would be a ring. Is that a bracelet? Where's the actual necklace is at? Right there. Sweet, pop it right there. And now we're protected from everything, right? So that is really cool. Go ahead and grab this one as well. This was the speed charm I was talking about. This one I'll probably keep on me. So this one's gonna kind of get worn down, I guess, as we use it, right? So there's gonna be something I wanna toggle on and off. 
But if you want to move around at a really good pace, this is a good option for that, right? So it just increases your movement speed. I'll probably just leave that one in my inventory though. Because like I said, that'll be one you want to turn on and off probably quite a lot, right? So anyway, that is a really good upgrade there. So that's the upgrades. I think the next thing we'll do is go ahead and work on the mob farm. So we're going to go ahead and grab a couple machines here. We're going to want a mob crusher, I think. So grab that one. And what else do we have here? Which one did I make? I made the, which, what's this one called? The extractor. There you go. I had these uh, machine frames in my inventory yesterday. I was going to do these ones. Never actually made them at any point. I meant to. But anyway, let's go ahead and grab like nine of that. I need to do a big batch of iron too. We've got like 4.8k chunks. Probably set up auto processing at some point. Just so I don't have to do that at any time. But just come in from the sifting setup. And then be, I guess, uh, automatically produced, I guess, would be probably the best way to do it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab three anvils, just like so. Grab ourselves an enchantment applicator. And then probably some tanks, right? I'm really liking those uh, tanks we've been using, too. These ones, the uh, singularities, the upgraded ones, the jumbos. They're just really cheap for their size. I mean, it's like a thousand buckets of storage, right? You're almost silly not to use them. But anyway, let's use those there. And uh, I think that's everything, right? That, that, that. Then we probably need power. I do have a GPS, so let's grab you. I think I set up uh, two more of these to be ready for power too. Yeah, I did too, so good. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put these onto the side of the mob farm and switch this over to something else. So let's go down here, turn that off for now. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be a new liquid and it's gonna be mostly for enchantments. It's actually really awesome, but anyway, let's go ahead, pop that there. This is the mob crusher. This would be uh, the thing that actually kills the mobs now. Do that there, set the, I guess the power target. Go ahead and give it a range upgrade. I don't even know what I gave it. How big is this one? It's big enough. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and do that there. We'll have to power this thing. But uh, yeah, we'll get a new liquid now. And that liquid, like I said, every 28 buckets, I think, can do a full enchantment. And the enchantments you get out of it are actually pretty OP. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab that there. There are more OP enchantments in the pack, but these ones are really easy to produce. Apotheosis will be able to produce like insane ones, like sharpness 10 and stuff like that, right? So... Really, really good ones. But anyway, as mobs spawn in now, I'd like to see one spawn in. Just do your thing. There we go. Are you getting liquid? There we go. We're actually getting some essence now. That essence, like I said, once you get 28 buckets, um, you got lots of stuff you can do. Why did I get two tanks? I don't even know why. But anyway, let's go ahead. Push this right here, I guess. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter where that goes. Is that a good spot for it? I guess it is. Let's go put it there. Go to essence, and we can just push it up. That'll kind of put the... Look what up there. Is that still on? I turned that on. What am I doing? I'm a dirt. I was wondering why I wasn't getting any essence there. Should be getting it uh, quite a bit faster than that. This one also gets drops, so I guess we'll have to deal with drops too. So we have this ender chest here. Probably go ahead and put it right there. Set it to the output on that one. So to push this way. Now when we do this setup with this one here, we'll get nowhere near as many items. But I think there's an upgrade for that too. So if you go to industrial, I don't know if I'll do this right now, but I think there's a fortune, right? Go to fortune? Isn't there a fortune? I thought there was. Maybe there is no fortune for this, and maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that was an older version. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't know. Anyway, doesn't, I'm not seeing the fortune here. I guess I could dig through them, and there might be one here. But I'm definitely not seeing it right now. <laughs> I'm not sure. Either way, I thought there was a, a, at one point. So anyway, we'll worry about that. But the, the main point is this thing here, that thing, gives you more drops than anything else. But this one is just uh, way cleaner in the way it kills. It's way less lag, for one thing. Uh, plus, you get the essence. But I want to have all the liquids, because this liquid's going to be for apotheosis. This one's going to be for the enchantments, as well as being able to remove them and apply them with, uh, I guess, this machine right here. You can actually apply enchantments, which is really cool. So this one here. You just put books in here. Once it gets uh, 28 buckets of the essence, and just uh, make crazy enchantments. It's actually really awesome. But uh, we'll just have to wait for some of that, though. But we only got uh, three buckets right now, so we'll have to wait for a bit. I think the next thing I want to work on is probably maybe auto-crafting of our essence. Then we might go back to the infinite dark and do some stuff there. So maybe that is a plan. Also, I was talking about yesterday. I was talking about uh, tree farms. And I, I don't know why I couldn't find one. There's one called the Forester. Then there's one from Dutcher for going. I forget what machine was that. And then there's a third one. So there's lots of options. I'm just a total derp. So I realized I did a little bit of derping when I set this up. So we're going to go ahead and fix it here real quick. So first off, the machine I thought I was making was this one here, the Enchantment Factory. So that is the one I thought I was making. But I made the other one, which is the Applicator, 
This one works like an anvil. And uh, also, these things are all getting random items because uh, I have them set wrong or something. But anyway, kind of sort that out here. I'll put that looks good. Yeah, I don't know what I did there. Oh, I have these here too. These are universal pipes. Uh, these things can actually uh, move liquids, power, and items all in the same pipe. I thought they'd be useful in this situation, but I'm not so sure now, actually. But we'll kind of see if we can do what we need to do here. So first off, one of the first things I need to do, I guess, is... I need to void off the items that are inside this, right? So this thing, when it kills mobs, is going to get drops. Problem is, we don't have any filtering. I don't want to set up the filtering right now. So that was one of the main derps I did when I set this up. But I should be able to do this. I'm going to need some kind of block here to be able to stand on it. So I can actually set that to extract too. So let's just do that for a second. I guess we could extract from there. That should pull items out of there. Uh, that may put items into there, though. That might be the issue. I might not actually need these universals here. I thought I was going to need them. I use them over there with the power setup so it can move the lava and the power in the same pipes. But they're a little weird, right? So if I extract from this one, then I can't pump power to that machine. So you have to kind of attach to another side to be able to move in power as well. So you can't input through an extract. So they are a little limited, but they can do multiple things. But anyway, we'll have to do this a little different, I guess. What we'll do instead, I guess, is just uh, throw some energy pipe down here. That'll power all those, I suppose. Then I go ahead and actually set the GPS card, uh, I guess properly. Actually, if I go ahead and uh, do this first, let's do that. Yeah, I don't know what else they could hear, man. It's like 3 a.m. here, and my brain's not working. But anyway, let's go ahead and drop you off. That's good. And then we'll go ahead and see if everything's powered here, and it should be. Loving this anti-gravity, though. It's actually working out real well. Uh, what did I do wrong here? Wait a second. Oh, maybe it doesn't like this cable. I haven't tried to do it on the pipes cable. It doesn't work on the pipes cable. Okay, so let's have, we just learned something. So that cable is a little limited then. We should use this cable, and then it should work on this, right? So if I do that, then that. Is that power thing? Yeah, instantly powered. So this is the better cable for the uh, actual node, so we know that now. Uh, this is gonna obviously have to go somewhere else. I'm gonna have to figure that out. That may have to go right back here. This is pretty much the only side we have access to, I suppose. So right there. Then I guess on the output, right? We want on the back of it. Where's the back? Back right there. We'll push there, and that should push it into the trash can, right? Hopefully. Push. You gonna, you gonna push things out of the back? <laughs> Apparently not. Output, essence. Yeah, essence is going up, right? Why are you not pushing? I'm actually confused what's happening here now. That is considered the back, right? Back, or is that considered the front, maybe? Push? That is the front. For whatever reason, I guess when you put it down, it uh, puts it down the opposite way. So I guess that makes sense. So that'll handle that. Then we'll be able to move the liquids there and move the liquids there. And that'll kind of sort out our situation, I guess. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that. We'll break that with a comma because I don't know where my axe is. Then we'll go ahead and fix our little walls here. And everything should be set up and uh, actually working now. So that should work out just fine. Definitely not much room here, a little cramped, but uh, we're going to be... Uh, I guess changing our base here really soon. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and use these two. These are fluid transporters. It's going to be a way to just move around the essence. These are like the old translocators. They're actually from a add-on for industrial foregoing, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you real quick and uh, pop you there. Awesome. We had 22 buckets of essence so far, which is not enough. But basically to make these work, all you have to do is go and right click on that, I think. Is that the way that works? Are you actually working right now? Why are I guess my shaders are making it so you can't see it. Usually you would see particles here. You see a little stream uh, moving into there. So you can tell because I hit this side, it's pointed down inwards towards the machine. It's going to move all the liquids into there. And if I go ahead and click this one, it would actually stop it. But if I click this one, I'll put it back in the tank, I believe, right? So I go to here. should see it go back up. Unless you can't extract from this machine because uh, that's quite possible as well. But anyway, let's put it in here. And uh, that should work out. There you go. So it's just an easy way for me to be able to move around the liquids uh, really easily. You can also use the speed upgrades as well. I don't know what other upgrades you can use on these, but you can put upgrades actually on these as well. I don't know how you do it. Oh, they actually have a filter as well. Blacklist, regulate. Ooh, I wonder what regulate mode means. I wonder if that means we can set like a number of items, because if so, that's awesome. Either way, really cool, really awesome. And uh, once we have uh, a little more essence here, we'll be actually good to go. And uh, at least I fixed all my derping, so. Go ahead and uh, move on to something else here. So I thought I was going to go ahead and actually do the autocorrecting for the essence. And I uh, don't think I'm going to be doing that right now. 
I didn't realize that we don't have the RF tools grafter. It's not in the pack. Like I, I keep forgetting they only have part of RF tools in here. It's not like all of it, right? So it's like one of those mods where there's like different components to it. We don't have the crafter at all. So yeah, that's gonna make things a lot more difficult. We will be able to do it with this here, the sequential uh, crafter from Thermal, but it's gonna require me instead of having just one of the, what are those things called? The infusion crystals, right? This one here, the masters, I'm gonna end up needing four of those. So yeah, we'll get to that at some point. But each one of these is like 2,500 Inferium. So I started crafting this and I was looking for the crafter and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I can't do that. So we're going to have to pass on that for right now. We may go ahead and actually do what I want to do in the infinite dark instead. It's probably going to be the other plan. So I basically want to go ahead and set up a builder. We actually don't have the crafter, but we have the builder uh, from RF Tools and uh, set that up in the infinite dark and uh, see what ores we get. I want to do a little testing there to kind of see what we get. And uh, if there's anything we don't have and what resources we want to keep and stuff, right? So I think that is a good plan. And we'll go ahead and do that. I want to go ahead and use these two. This is a Tesseract. So anyone who's uh, an old school Minecrafter obviously knows what these are. But uh, we're going to be using these for sure. So let's go ahead and grab some Ender Chests right here. Because uh, they should be pretty fun. So let's go ahead and grab them. These things can move items, fluids, and energies. Can be transferred between multiple Tesseracts and can be... Uh, if they're the same that they used to be, should be able to go cross dimension as well. And it works on a little channel system. So we'll go ahead and use two of those for this setup. Then I guess we're also going to need a shape card. So what do we need for the actual like base shape card? Uh, where's it at, man? Where, where's the base one? Where, where's the uh, the, the card? Uh, this one. There we go. Let's go ahead and hunt that one down. There we go. Go to use on this one. Then we want the shape card quarry. So go ahead and grab that. And then grab this as well. Sweet. There's different versions of this as well. This one here, there's like a little piece of dirt. You can barely see it in the picture, but it's right up there. Basically it means when it mines something, it's going to replace it with dirt. There's another one that just leaves a void, I believe, as well. So I'm going to go with this one because, uh, yeah. oh, I guess this is the one with the void down here. But now we're going to go with the one that replaces with dirt. Just so we're not creating like just random holes in the world for no apparent reason. We're also going to want a basic chunk loader. So let's go ahead and grab that. Then we're going to go ahead and grab this one. And we're going to get this one turned into a single chunk loader. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. And then I already have my chest. And uh, is there anything else we need for this setup? Or is that actually it? It's a really simple setup. We'll also need a lever. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick. Uh, lever. Can I get one of those? That would be good. And I think that is everything. We need that. Then an inventory. Then we'll pipe it back over to the world. Use a card, use that, lever, and uh, I guess we just need to figure out what we're going to use for a power source, and uh, then we should be pretty much good to go, right? So uh, the way we're going to do this, I guess we'll go ahead and set it up over in the infinite dark, then come back and set up it uh, on this side as well, because I want to be able to pipe the items that I want to keep uh, back over to the overworld, right? So that's kind of the idea, and uh, maybe we'll do it that way. So. Let's go ahead and head back to the infinite dark. And okay, we're back in the infinite dark. And this time I'm trying to leave it uh, dark a little bit. <laughs> so you can actually get an idea what this place is actually like, right? So yesterday it was uh, all night vision. And uh, today is a little bit of darkness. But you can see here it's actually very dark, very heavy. And uh, it's actually pretty cool all around. But there are tons of mobs everywhere, of course. But not too bad. See a structure over there? That might be where we go ahead and set up the builder. I think this is the one that was actually built by uh, the only Bentley. He actually made this one, I think, and uh, it's actually really cool looking. So maybe we'll set this up as our builder location. Maybe that's the plan there. But anyway, also a really good place to farm hats, I have to say, because <laughs> you're always fighting like nonstop here. Anyway, go blow up. No? Those creepers have too many hit points. I'm not used to that. But anyway, so yeah, we have a cool building here. So I guess uh, that's what it looks like there. Actually, pretty nifty. He's a really good builder, actually. He streams on Twitch, too, and he has a YouTube channel. So, definitely a guy worth checking out. He makes pretty good content. I visit his channel from time to time. And he's always hanging out in Dark Oso's channel. So, that's cool. Uh, we've got to sell some witches here. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with them real quick. Don't really need this spawner, either. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I may steal those bookcases, too, actually. But, I have to come back for those, I think. But, uh, I think there is a dungeon downstairs in this one. So I think that's a thing. Should go ahead and grab one of these mega torches too, I guess. Get that there. Oh, we got mobs everywhere, man. Why is everything going to be so difficult? <laughs> anyway, go ahead and uh, deal with you. 
Hopefully get rid of this guy. Get rid of this jerk. Oh my goodness, they're all coming out of the basement. Is there like 40 spawners are down there or something? There you go. Go ahead and deal with that. I don't know what this spawner is, but I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. That's good. I think because I have the torch down, <laughs> at least no new one should spawn in. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe with the spawners, because we have the apotheosis in here. Uh, even though the apotheosis spawners I don't think are technically in here, I don't know if they actually just straight up change the spawners, so I don't know how they're going to behave and stuff, right? Anyway, let's get rid of that creeper spawner. Go ahead and see if there's anything else up here. Oh, I hear something up here. <laughs> is that an invoker or something? That might be. Yeah, that is too. Go ahead and deal with them real quick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's too much going on up here. Yep. <laughs> that's that's a very bad place. Those guys actually can hurt me. So most things can't really hurt me that much, I've noticed, with this armor. But uh, they definitely can. They are definitely a different type of guy. Uh, what we should do instead is go ahead and do this. We need to clear out this building a little bit. Also, people are wondering how I'm staying alive so much here. It's because of this meat feeder, basically. Uh, where's that thing? Oh, I want uh, this. Let's turn that on real quick. Then maybe go up this way and up really slowly. Then maybe go ahead and do it this way. This might be the safer route. <laughs> Although, I don't know. Do I have a place I can put a torch here? So we can actually not be in darkness, because that might be nice. Those vexes aren't cool, though. That's a vexus with a sombrero. Sombre sombrero? I don't know what I said, but anyway. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Oh, this darkness. This place is horrible. <laughs> but also awesome, right? I need to get rid of this spotter real quick. Get rid of you. There you go. You guys can just jump off. I'm fine with that. Apparently the Mega Torch is not disabling these spawners at all, so I guess that's the thing. Yeah, just keep running off, guys. There you go. Get rid of this Evoker one. Maybe? There you go. Then they'll be gone. Oh my goodness, look at them all. <laughs> this is actually crazy. What is this? Uh, these are like the worst mobs in Minecraft, I think. Next to Phantoms. I think Phantoms are the only ones that are worse than this. Anyway, this building's kind of nasty. There better be like something really good in this chest. What is going on? Why is there so many? There isn't that many of them. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can get them under control now. <laughs> you too. <laughs> okay. So I think we all maybe set it up here. Because <laughs> at least this building's uh, semi-safe. If I could ever get rid of these vexes. These guys are horrible when you're fighting 40 of them. They're flying through walls and being jerks. Oh my goodness, a moment of silence. What do we got in here? Some horse hammer? <laughs> that was well worth the bite. What? There must be another one here. And uh, what is in this one? <laughs> Nothing. This place wasn't worth it at all. All that for that? I was hoping for some artifacts, because I know you can get some artifacts in those chests. Where is the uh, last guy, though? I need to hunt him down. So this guy is driving me bonkers. So I finally got ahead and uh, got this place pretty much all cleared out. And uh, we don't have any red dots, so we don't have any mobs around, which is uh, completely great. So the torch is doing its thing. There's still mobs in the basement, though. That is from the spawners that are down there. I have to deal with that later on, so I guess that's the thing. We're going to set the builder up here. So go ahead, and guess, and hit F9 twice. There you go. Bring up our little grid here. We're in a chunk here, I guess. We'll put it in this one here, I guess. And then we'll go ahead and grab the chunk loader. Go ahead and throw it there. I know people are going to say that this thing chunk loads itself, but I've ran into issues so many times in different packs where either it doesn't chunk load itself or doesn't chunk load the end where it's actually mining that I just always chunk load it. So anyway, it may be an issue. It may not. I just proactively always do this. So that's the thing. Probably throw a diamond chest on here at first to just kind of filter it as well. And we'll go ahead and grab this test rack for right now. We'll just use this for power. We'll switch that to items and power in a bit. But uh, that's good there. We need to go ahead and set up the, I guess, the filtering and the shape card. So let's actually grab the shape card. You just take that and right click it. Go to solid. We want it on box. And then we're going to set the dimension here. We're going to make it really big too. And the max, I think, is this here. This, 256, then 512. So there you go. That is good. Shouldn't need an offset at all. But it's going to be a mass amount of blocks. It actually takes a while for it to calculate it all. But I'm not too concerned about that. Pop that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and set this filter here. And this filter is actually super good. Like, this thing's amazing. It's so cheap. It's one of the most powerful filters of all mods ever. So anyway, you go to 
uh, forge, there you go, right there, no, 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 forge, forge, there you go, semicolon, and then we want uh, ores, right, so let's go to ores, click that right there, just double click that, and there you go, it's just going to try to mine anything that's labeled an ore, so super easy way to do your filtering, and don't have to worry about it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that there, and that looks like it's going to be everything that's able to mine, Although that doesn't mean that's all in this dimension. That's just everything that's uh, in the ore list. Some of that could be disabled stuff. So we'll kind of see what we get there. And uh, yeah, we should get a good amount of stuff here. So that's good. Go ahead and grab a lever gas, pump that there. And then I guess we need to go back to the overworld and actually set up the power. And then we're pretty much ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our book here. Go to the overworld. Um, shift right click, right? Go ahead and do that. See if we fall through a block here too. That's not good. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Let's go ahead and uh, try this here. Do that. Someone suggested this, and I haven't tried it yet. Let's try this. Do that. Go ahead and grab ourselves a, a world data card, right? And then do this here. Then right click that. Then maybe if I spawn at this point, I won't fall through the block. So maybe that is a kind of like a temporary solution. But someone said, Why well, have you tried this? And uh, maybe I should try that. So we'll do that. Go ahead and drop that off. And then, like I said, we need to set up power here. So we're gonna set it up, I guess, down here, because we're gonna end up piping these items automatically into the system once it's all set up. So I'm gonna have it kind of up here. Uh, th these blocks are a little weird too. If they're connected to an inventory, right? It'll be able to automatically deposit items into this ender chest uh, once we have the channel set up, right? So we're gonna go ahead and set up channels here. So in here, you have the little interface, you have items channel, inner, uh, energy channel, Fluids channel, we just need energy and items right now. So create one for this. Uh, items, we'll just call the builder, I guess, for this one. There you go. And this one here, what we call this, I guess we'll just call it main for power. That's good. And uh, that'll be our two channels at this point. We need uh, something to power this with too. I guess we, I don't know if we can power this directly. I guess we'll try. Let's go to here, I guess, that there. And uh, see if we can actually power it directly. We won't know until we go back to the other dimension there, but it uh, doesn't hurt to find out. Go ahead and pop it in there. And we need to go back to the other dimension and select those channels, and then we'll know if it's getting power pretty much right away. Otherwise, uh, we may have to use cable here, but uh, we'll kind of see how it works. But anyway, let's go ahead, head back to the infinite dark. There you go. And uh, we should start getting some resources pretty soon, which is uh, really cool. But anyway, do here. Uh, that we want uh, this channel here. I guess we don't need the items channel right now. Right now we'll just uh, turn on the power. So we need to activate that, right? And oh, I didn't activate those other ones, did I? I need to go back to the overworld. Oh, I went to the wrong teleport too. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't fall through this time. <laughs> That's actually nice. Let's go down here one more time. There you go. Here, and I have to go to this one and activate, right? There you go. Oh, we can actually see the power in it. So it will be moving power, and uh, that's awesome, actually. That's actually really good. That's cool. Also, why am I... Oh, this must have been earlier when I was messing around with the uh, other thing. Also, I need to upgrade on our sulfur, apparently. But we'll worry about that later. So we'll go to back here, right? Shift right quick. See if we can actually get uh, <laughs> power into the builder, right? So it should be automatically outputting. There you go. So we're sending the power wirelessly across dimension, which is awesome. Doesn't show any power in here either. I guess it doesn't buffer until this is full, right? But uh, basically, we should be able to just turn this on now. And uh, I'm going to switch this off a of diamond chest after I decide what I actually want to keep. Because I may not want to keep everything, right? But uh, see here, we're already getting some sulfur. I'll definitely end up keeping that for sure. Uh, a lot of these ores, I don't think I'm going to keep. Like, I think we have enough gold. I think we have enough tin. I think we have enough sulfur. I'm really interested in other stuff. You know what I mean? I'll take diamonds, emeralds. Uh, definitely Imperium, maybe Lapis, because we could use it as a power source. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Dimensional Shard Ore, we'll definitely take that as well. It'll be uh, very uh, determined on what's in this list, what I actually keep. Probably won't keep Cobber, but I'm going to spend some time here, I guess, staring at this, just deciding what I want to keep. That's definitely what I want there, so that's good. We'll be able to infuse this machine and make it faster, uh, although I don't know if we can actually even keep up with our power right now. This thing is actually brutal on power. I might have to find a way to limit how much power it actually sends, but I guess I'm not too worried about it right now. Actually, once we have it focused on exactly what we want, because I'll have to change the filter again, right? Uh, it'll actually use a lot less power anyway, so maybe I don't need to worry about that.
but uh, our power in the overworld might be a little starved right now is all i'm basically trying to say i just want to figure out exactly everything we're gonna get here it may take a little bit so i've actually gone ahead and uh, changed my mind here i've kind of decided i'm going to go ahead and just keep everything because i've decided to be greedy so i need to go ahead and add some more doors here i'm gonna end up having to make this uh, platform down here bigger so these ones are just temporary here i'm gonna have to uh pipe in through that um test rack there so this one here, I can't remember if I turned the item channel on on this one. Did I turn it on on this one? I think so, right? Activate? I guess not. Let's go ahead and turn that on there. That should be good. Then we'll have to do the same thing to the other one and replace it with the chest that's on top. And this should start working just from that point on. We'll have to come back and see if everything's going in the ender chest, but it should be, right? So let's actually grab you. There you go. Go ahead and uh, head back to here. Sweet. Awesome. And yeah, I, I, at first I thought the list was going to be giant. I thought I was going to see a lot more items, but it's actually not that bad. That's pretty much all I've seen so far. So it's really manageable, actually. Um, I think I have to... The only thing I couldn't pull out, like, automatically, is I know there's the Force Gem Ore here. It's called Power Ore. But I couldn't find it in the filter. So I can't manually add that one. But it's not listed under Forge Ores. And that's actually unfortunate. If it was listed under Forge Ores, I could automatically pull it. But, um... Uh, yeah, that was the only one I was actually having trouble with anyway. So it's the only one that I know that's here and I can't just pull. So I did a little bit of a run with uh, just pulling everything and I saw it. So anyway, that's the thing there. Uh, this here, do I have this on uh, items, right? Did I activate this one? I need to make sure that's activated. Uh, this is obviously activated. That's good. And then I have to go ahead and replace this chest, right? So that should be good. Is this still working too? Oh, I have it off right now. Turn it back on. Actually, I should leave it off right now. Let's go ahead and actually break this inventory, I suppose. Let's do that. We'll make a bit of mess here, but that's fine. I need to go ahead and probably pick this up somehow. I need to manage to get this test racked. If I can, that would be just great if you would just let me have the test racked and not all this other stuff. Did I get it? There you go. It's right there. Okay. So all I should have to do now is put it on here, though, and make sure the channels are actually activated. So there, and this one, I guess you have to reactivate after that. So that's fine. Turn that back on, and that should start working. That should be fine there. I'm just going to let this stuff despawn. I did not bring a bag with me or nothing, so not too worried about that. But we're going to get a whole bunch of more items anyway, so I'm not really concerned. So anyway, this has got a massive area to kind of work with. We need to go back to the overworld now and just see if that stuff's going into... The chest that uh, I kind of wanted to, right? The ender chest there. But uh, I think this is working. I think it's working now. So I guess we'll figure it out here in a second. There we go. Do we have uh, any of those guys up there yet? I don't think I've slept in a few nights. So anyway, go ahead and uh, see if we can hunt this down here. I think I blocked off that side, so I have to walk around this side now. Some dirt. But anyway, is that working? Actually, I could have done it right here, right? There you go. The ores are actually coming in, and all the stuff's coming in. So stuff like the redstone and stuff like that will be already filtered. I'll just actually have to do mostly the ores and the couple other items there, like the dimensional shards and stuff like that. Once they're filtered, it'll actually be pretty much good to go. So it's actually a really small list. It wasn't any, it wasn't bad at all, actually. <laughs> Way easier than I thought it was going to be. But you can see here the stuff just gets automatically deposited from the test rack into the ender chest. It makes everything super simple, right? So that's good. Probably going to bring this out like one or two more too. Because uh, I feel like I'm going to need a ton of doors in this pack. Might as well get ahead of it, right? I thought this was going to be enough for the pack when I first started it. But it's obviously not. There you go. There's five of the wars. I think there's still a couple more to come in. I think I counted seven. But after that point, I think we're pretty much good, right? I just need to do that. Uh, I guess move the doors around. And then we're pretty much good to go. So we have this working. And it's doing exactly what we needed to. The only one, like I said, I need to figure out is the power ore, because I would like to get that. So at some point, I want to do some force craft. I have no idea how much we actually need, but why not get more, right? <laughs> this is a sky factory. It's all about just uh, doing things that are fun anyway, right? So that is cool. That's actually cool. I think that's uh, all seven of the main ores there. And uh, there may be a couple more, but uh, we should get a uh, lot more diamonds and emeralds now as well. So we'll start getting them from that dimension. Uh, we could add uh, a fortune one too. Is it their shape card fortune? This one would uh, definitely be better. But I guess I need some of those uh, dimensional shard ores come in before uh, I actually get that, actually. If 
But uh, yeah, not too bad. Although I did just throw a bunch on the ground, <laughs> I guess. But uh, isn't that big a deal? Go ahead and grab a uh, upgrade here. Obviously, need to go ahead and upgrade our lapis. So let's go ahead and get that done. It seems like the work's never done with this thing. So anyway, that's the thing. That should be good. And yeah, we're just getting tons of stuff. We're getting more stuff than we were previously. We're getting stuff on top of stuff. And uh, we're pretty soon going to be at the uh, point in the pack where we're going to start working on the tasks. So there's a whole bunch of tasks that we can complete, right, uh, from the book. And then, yeah, just start working forward on that stuff. As well as just doing fun stuff, right? So just anything that's fun all around. So that's actually really cool. Where's my glowstone, man? Go ahead and pop that there. Do I have two glowstone drawers? That's a problem. I'll have to fix that. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. When you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.